You've worked with several stunt horses over the course of your career. Do you remember any of their names? Well, I do remember Hurakane. Hurakane was a fantastic horse. I could ride him right up to a tank and I'd stuff a rock in the, in the, in the can and he was dead solid. Hey, I'm Harrison Ford. And Esquire has asked me to explain some things about my life and career. Who's the most fun on the Star Wars press tour? That would be me. Carrie was a lot of fun too. Can I explain? I can't explain Star Wars. <laughs> Do I remember working with Jim Morrison and the Doors? I have some vague memories. I was second assistant cameraman. I remember that he was on stage smoking a joint and I was standing in the front and uh, I was, they were reloading my camera and he, flicked it to me, and then I'm standing there with a joint man. I didn't inhale. I didn't inhale. What's up with me and Fallon and earrings? Well, it was his idea, and I don't wear my earring anymore. Cause the hole closed up. I guess I forgot it for a while, and the hole closed up and I stopped doing it. Did it hurt him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He bled unconscionably. I told him it wasn't a good idea. I wanted one of those little things they have in the store where they snap it through there. No, he wanted a needle. I gave him a needle. In episode six, your character has a wild gummy ride. Have you ever ridden a gummy? I don't even know how to get on a gummy. <laughs> I have a spider and an ant species named after me. Explain. The world's preeminent expert on ants, a man named Edwin O. Wilson. He and I were partners in many conservation projects and he named an ant after me, but he named it in Latin, so I don't even know what a f is. Taylor, Sheridan, Wind, and Dine you into joining 1923. That's pretty much true, and that's about the extent of the story. I should mention it was a really good wine. He wrote a beautiful first season, and he continues to write incredible scripts for all of us, and to tell a, a story, which I think is an important story to tell, and he tells it straight. You've worked with several stunt horses over the course of your career. Do you remember any of their names? Well, I do remember Huracane, who is the horse I rode in Spain uh, for Indiana Jones. Huracane was a fantastic horse. I could ride him right up to a tank and I'd stuff a rock in the, in the, in the can and he was dead solid. I, I love that horse and I wanted to buy him, but it turned out to be too much trouble to get him over here from, uh, from Spain. Explain the VFX used on Indy in Dial of Destiny. I'm gonna try and explain it, but I don't understand it. I think they have every foot of film that was exposed to me during all the time I worked for Lucasfilm. So they have this library of images and they can mine it with artificial intelligence for a position of my face, for the light, for whatever. And then I put little balls on my face and I say the words. And then they take that part and they stick it in that part. And, but it's perfect. It's not like the photoshopping de-aging. It's my actual face at that actual age. How did it make you feel? It made me feel old. Was the PG-13 rating created specifically for Temple of Doom? Yes, because it was too damn scary for 12-year-olds. Did Phoebe ever try and take Indy's hat? No, no, she would never do that. Who tells the dirtiest f***ing jokes? You or shithead Phoebe? I think I do. I win. Of all the characters you played, who would be the most fun to have whiskey with? Ali Fox, because he's full of shit, and that's a good place to start when you're gonna sit down and drink whiskey with somebody. In Anchorman 2, who broke first, you or Will Ferrell? That would have to be Will Ferrell. I take my work very seriously. What is it that attracts you about being in the Marvel Universe? You know, I'm just, uh, I'm down to just doing things that I never would do. It just seems like everybody's having a lot of fun. A bunch of good actors 
having a lot of fun. I said, oh, can't be bad. So that's why I'm in the Marvel Universe. You're stranded on a desert island with the following. Who would have the best cooking skills? Steven's mother ran a restaurant, the Milky Way. George lives on hamburgers and french fries. Jim Mangold, I think, might be a secret chef. I'm going to guess that uh, Mangold is the best choice. Really, Scott says that he's definitely a replicant, but I'm, on the other hand, seem less sure. I always knew that I was a replicant. I just wanted to push back against it, though. I think a replicant would want to believe that they're human, at least this one did. How did you feel to see Ki Huey Kwan on the Oscar stage? Ki is a wonderful guy, and he's very enthusiastic. And his work is absolutely amazing. I'm so happy for him. Thanks for watching. I'm Harrison Ford. Plain bottle. All now right. you're kind of wondering what's in it, aren't you? <laughs>